you guys? Time is back with another Lintense video. Today we have a fragrance from Paris Corner, but before I get into that, just want to say thank you guys. Again, it is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh. Whether you're watching me in the tub, hopefully if you are, you're watching me on a wireless device, you don't uh, accidentally drop that uh, big screen TV in the tub with you. So, uh, if you are, please get out of the tub and continue watching me in the bedroom or something like that. But however and wherever you are watching me, it is an honor to be playing on one of those. And if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Because everyone loves a like. Everyone loves likes. I don't care who you are, you're going to love a like. Anyways, Paris Corner. Now, you guys... Well, recall that I've done plenty of videos on fragrances from Paris Corner. Now, they do have this new lineup called Amir, E-M-I-R. And this is a fragrance that I've been kind of waiting to finally get a hold of and actually do a review on. This one is the Shade of Dark series. Now, they have two others in the lineup. This one is the Fire Your Desire from Amir. Now, I'm assuming Amir is like the, again, Paris Corner is the big tree. Amir is the leaf. So little branches of the Paris Corner house itself. Now this one, supposedly a clone of a fragrance from Killian. Now, you guys know me, I am cheap. There is no way I'm spending over $200 for one single fragrance, especially when the Middle Easterns are doing a damn good job. Honestly, <clears throat> my biggest problem with getting a super duper expensive fragrance is that if you do not like it, yes, you can sell it, but then you gotta go through all that, okay? If I don't like a $30 fragrance, it's not that big of a deal. I'll find someone that likes it and just give it to them, okay? so. Uh, I'd hate to just give someone a $400 fragrance. You see, you'd have to sell it. You'd be pretty angry if you bought it and didn't like it. So, by the way, for those niche knobs, there's a few of you out there. How do you know these companies are using niche quality ingredients? Are you in their warehouse watching them put niche quality oils in there? No, you're not. They're just saying their niche. How do you know that? But anyways, here we go. Shades of Dark series. Again, this is Fire Your Desire. Again, a fragrance from Killian. Now this one does have like some cognac and some, I think some vanillas and some sweet stuff going on in here. But overall, take a look at this, this uh, presentation. Now Joy Min, one of my favorites, said this kind of reminds him of the Armoff, the, um, the cool, the cool series, this one. Let me let me grab that. The Armoff Niche lineup, okay? Because they had kind of like the same cylinder style uh, box, if you will, or uh, package. And you open it, and then it's just kind of sitting in this velvety. Ooh, look at that. Take a look at that. That is nice. Look at that. Just like it. Uh, this probably has a little bit more class than the Armoff. But overall, kind of reminds me of that as well. Um, overall, great looking packaging. Let's finally get into this. And there is a little bit of batch code, I think, on the back of this thing. I could be mistaken, but actually there isn't. So hopefully no bozo out there is cloning this. This is already a clone, so there's no need to clone the clone, right? So let's get into this right here. Okay, so now look, here's the thing. I have smelt Killian, a few Killian fragrances, okay? They're lovely. They are really lovely, okay? But if this is anything close to that, I think that's Heaven Share. I think that's the name of this, the fragrance that this is cloning. Anything close, look at this. This is less than 35, 45 bucks, somewhere between there, 45 and 35, give or take a few dollars. Killian, you're going to be spending about 200 plus. So here we go. Take a look at that bottle, which looks very nice. 
and this kind of reminds me of is if you had like an expensive cognac you know how the expensive cognacs take their time with a nice bottle you got one of these nice little uh cat Ooh, this cat feels nice too really heavy um so man take a look at that very nice it's got a little bit of the stuff on top of the cap which no big deal because no one's looking at that and then we got paris corner right there so look at all that detailing it's not like one of them stickers that's just starting to peel off it's actually on there pretty well so here we go now we do got the little graduation what is this thing called again a tassel is that what they're called tassel a little graduation tassel so maybe this thing has graduated to niche status let's see nothing here now it's probably not the right time to start wearing a fragrance like this in the warm heat that we've been having the last couple of days here in the Midwest, but ooh, ooh, you know this is definitely gonna fill up a room because I'm smelling it right all in here, and it does kind of have this boozy vanilla kind of a little bit sweet almost resinous smell right up in the air but i'm gonna have to get closer you guys take a look at that sprayer again one more time it's like a, a fine mist okay nice fine mist Oof. it's definitely gonna fill up a room easily uh so be mindful of where you are using this big open environment okay nothing enclosed don't want to go on a, a date that is a small restaurant that only has like maybe 30 people in there maybe maybe a little bit bigger okay this could be a little bit loud for some people but oh you know that's actually really nice you guys um i'm really impressed with this one this is definitely one of those fragrances. And again, if maybe you've never smelt Killian, if you just smelt this, this is the first time smelling this thing, this thing I think will blow away, I'm gonna say at least 95% of the people that smell it, okay? You give this to 10 people, I'm guaranteeing at least, let's go eight to nine people are gonna really enjoy this. Two people just may not. One person may just be in the middle, okay? But I guarantee at least eight people are going to enjoy this based off the opening. The opening is just so lovely on this thing, you guys. It's boozy. It's kind of sweet, syrupy. And it's not too sweet, which I actually kind of appreciate. I don't like fragrances that are just overly sweet. This is this got like the right amount of sweet in it. Almost tobacco-y and kind of earthy, if you will. If you really take a deep, deep breath with this one and you really smell it, and I actually love the smell, okay? It almost has the smell of a burning match as well. So you got this sweet, boozy, kind of resinous, almost a burning wood sensation smell. You guys already know fire your desire is most likely this is going to be a date night fragrance right here okay date night with the wifey going on a nice dinner date now remember make sure it is open okay nothing small okay because this is kind of strong you guys but <sighs> i like it now i don't know if the wife can smell it she's a little bit further away so she, she's, again, that voice that is from someone who is about 10 feet away, maybe, give or take. And she said she smelled that as soon as I sprayed it. So there you guys go. You guys have already seen that the projection is quite lovely. Projection is nice. I guarantee the performance longevity is going to be lovely on this as well. So what this comes down to pretty much is... You know, even if you are a niche snob, if you will, I think you'd highly appreciate this fragrance. If you're not a niche snob, you just love smelling great, you are really gonna be ecstatic with this, okay? This thing is gonna turn heads. And again, 
how many people, I guarantee if you went to a someone's house, okay, and someone said, oh my God, you smell so good. And they asked you, what are you wearing? And you said, Killian. I guarantee about nine of those people that, that 10 or maybe seven of those people will not even know what Killian is. They won't know. Now, unless you're going into a, you know, somewhere overseas, France, somewhere over there where they probably just know that by heart, then maybe. But most of these people will not know Killian. A lot of people do not know Creed. A lot of people barely know that Tom Ford makes colognes unless you are a real cologne fanatic. So with that being said, I would definitely highly recommend this fragrance easily 10 times out of 10. The smell is lovely. Again, it's kind of got that sweet, resinous, kind of a burning wood, little bit of booziness, which is very nice. Again, not overly sweet, which I really enjoy. There's a nice little bit of softness from in here, most likely some vanilla that kind of like smooths everything all together. I like it. I really do like this one. This is definitely a top-notch fragrance that smells very high class, in my honest opinion. Now, again, let's give or take who you are, okay? Again, if you're just new to fragrances, you'll love it. If you're new and you actually got a, a, a an open mind to all different types of scents, okay? You can't just be a guy that just likes the freshies or the soapies. You got to like everything. And if you like everything, I guarantee you'll like this one. Fire your desire, Amir. Now I have to get the other two in this lineup, which I need to get ASAP because if they smell anything like this and the quality, I'm assuming the uh, the performance, everything is going to be good on that. Also, the presentation is most likely going to be great on those as well. So with that being said, I would definitely recommend you guys try this one ASAP. Now... Here is the only issue. It is starting to be warm everywhere now, okay? So if you get this, you might not have many places to wear this just yet. Now, if you're in the Midwest, you can definitely wear this later on in the night because you know it's gonna be 90 in the morning and there's gonna be about 32 de degrees at night. So you can rock this at night, but if you're down south, you, you probably just wanna wait until like November to buy this, okay? So, with that being said, there is that Amir Fire Your Desire. Again, everything about this presentation, the smell, the price. Oh, I like it. That's nice. If you guys enjoyed that video, hit the likes, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace.